I've got my final installment of my huge summer haul. It's so huge that I'm a little bit embarrassed. Let's go through it. I've got a lot of tops, dresses, bottoms, and swimwear. Because what's a summer haul without swimwear, right? So let's get into that first. This is my first set, and this is a little risque, not gonna lie. It's kind of like a suede material, which is really pretty, freaking eye-catching, and so nice. I got this in a size... M. To be honest, when I was looking at the reviews, right, a lot of people said like this cup triangle thing is too small because I usually get mine in S and when I got it in M, I tried it on and it's still a little bit small. So if you have a private pool or if you are, you know, in somewhere that you don't really care, this is fine. But it is a little risque, like not gonna lie. I really like this though. I wish the cups had come in like a little bit bigger because it's so freaking pretty. Everything is really well made and this band is really sturdy as well. The padding is removable. And the bottoms are really cute as well, like it's a little cheeky. This is not the most conservative set, but it's just really really pretty so I couldn't pass it up. The next one I got I definitely prefer. This is from Zaful as well and this is a pink halter set. The cups are really nice, they're not small at all so I feel very covered in them and they have this like really nice peachy pink kind of colour. The texture is also really interesting, I don't know if you can tell. I'm so sorry if you see my nails by the way, they're like chipped as hell. So yeah, just ignore me, okay? And the bottoms are very standard as well and they cover a lot more than the previous one. So I think I actually prefer this and I cannot wait to wear it out because this is so freaking cute. And if I'm not wrong, this was really affordable. So yeah. By the way, I'll leave every single link down below so you don't have to worry about like where I got it from or whatever. And I will try my best to tell you all of the sizes because I remember like the last haul, I didn't manage to tell you guys every single size and you guys have been asking me in the comments. This is in size S and this is actually bigger than and the one in M so I really recommend that you search for the measurements and reviews every time you look for an item and not just assume that you're the same size in every single item so yeah I like this though cute final piece of swimwear is something that I much prefer like if I'm trying to just swim and not trying to like you know have fun by the beach and you know I just want to like be chill and look chill and not like attract attention I want to wear something like this this is a one piece with a mesh top it has a you know kind of like that racer swimmer's bag where you have like that big circle in the middle it gives a really weird tan line but because this is mesh I don't think it's that bad and it still shows a bit of skin but it doesn't show nearly as much as a bikini does covers up really nicely and it just kind of looks athletic even so I really like this and I'm probably gonna wear this out the most if I'm swimming alone especially I do not want any like unwanted attention so I like this <laughs> Now let's move on to proper clothes and I'm going to go through dresses first because I love dresses. I got a lot of dresses so I'm just going to like show you. Oh plus rompers because this first one is a romper. I'm going to move a little backwards so I can show you the entire garment but this is the first piece. The first time I saw this on Yoins it was actually sold out so I had to wait for it to get restocked so I really really wanted this. Didn't know that this is actually a romper and it's not a dress. I really love it except for the fact that this is too wide. It's just like so far apart. It's almost to the point where you can kind of have a nip slip so I'm not too big a fan of that. I guess you could sew it here or something but there's not really a lot of space for your boobs. As you can tell from the clip like I have to cover myself up. It's just like not very comfortable to wear and as beautiful as this is, as much as I want to wear it out, I just don't think I will because I don't know about you guys but whenever I wear something that just shows a little bit of skin in Singapore, it's just like everyone's like oh my god what are you wearing and I just like I can't, I cannot deal with it. And I'm especially frustrated because this is very well made and it's very very nice and it feels really good and it fits me very well also. And it's just like, why can't I wear you? Maybe I can wear this and like wear a top over, like a mesh top or something. But it's just really cute and I really love it. Except for the neckline right here. Next one is also from Yoins and it's also a disappointment because I check my measurements very carefully and I pick the one that's either like exactly my size or a little bit bigger. And this is in size S. Ooh, by the way, this romper is in size XS and it doesn't fit me. Like it fits me all the way until like my waist to like my ribs and my like boob area. 
yeah, so it fits me all the way here and then just I can't button up from there anymore. As you can tell from the clip, I just am standing there awkwardly. It's quite sad because the material is like a translucent kind of white and it's quite like fake silk lah, basically. I like full-length summer dresses. I think they look really flowy and really pretty and like almost very casual but at the same time you cover up a lot of skin. I don't know. First of all, this print, I didn't really notice it. I thought it was more of like a porcelain, like you know, ceramic. You know how on Chinese plates? They have those like designs. I thought it was that. And I didn't realize it was like blue and purple and it was like random peacock. But that's fine. Like when I wear it on, I actually like it. But the fact that I can't button up and also, I don't know if you can tell, but these buttons here all the way down. Like you have to button every single one individually. I really wish that they had like a zipper on the side or something like that for me to slip into. But yeah, since I can't even wear this, I think I'm just gonna sell it. Needless to say, I'm pretty heartbroken about this. <laughs> Next up, I forgot where this is from but I'm gonna list everything down below. I'm not going by stores anymore, I'm just kind of showing you like every single item by its category, just so it's easier. But this is a dark sea foam kind of colour, it's almost like a pastel emerald green. <laughs> This is a slip dress that is made out of like very stretchy and very nice cotton and it has like this kimono v-shaped thing going down. It's quite loose but you have ties at the end to help you kind of cinch your waist in and make it look really nice. This is a midi length so it hits me right in the middle of my calves and it's actually really nice. I really like it. I think it's very comfortable and it's just really easy breezy, you know what I mean? If you are a really 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 small size, this may kind of drown you out but if you're of a bigger size and you want something that's stretchy and quite flattering, this is perfect for you. I also really like how the waist is adjustable because you kind of decide how much you want to cinch in because, you know, it's literally just a piece of fabric for you to tie. And I like this one little slit that doesn't go up really high but it just kind of looks cute that there's like a little bit of shape to it. So this one is definitely a thumbs up for me. Next dress I'm actually really happy about but I don't have a clue when I'll ever get to wear it because it is a full length white dress. It honestly looks like I'm getting married. And then it just goes on and on and on. I thought at first it would come in like a really hobo style and it's actually like quite light and crinkly but this is not. This has some serious weight to it. It's very very well made. I'm quite short but honestly it fits me like it's not too long for me and it's just very very pretty. The neckline is actually similar to the first romper that I showed you guys but this is actually better because it cinches in a bit more and if you have like some pasties if you like tape this thing down here it's totally workable. I will find an event to wear this. It's very very pretty. Probably like a birthday picnic or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's just really nice. I liked it. The next dress is one of my favorites. Now you guys may have seen it on my Instagram. It is this red dress. Okay, I don't know how to explain it but it's kind of like an open concept. You just kind of wear it like this. Oh, oh am I wearing it now? Is that happening? Okay. And then you have these two straps and you just kind of like tie it. If you have a really large chest, it's not gonna fit because it barely fits me to be honest. I don't know if you guys can see but I actually added a little safety pin like right here so when I wear it right, it still shows quite a lot and I don't want my bra to be flashing obviously. So I just kind of use the safety pin and I just kind of like pin it. I didn't tell you guys about the sizes. I'm really bad about talking about sizes guys. This is in size S. I got this in a size XS. Let's see what I got this in. It doesn't say. Pretty sure that it might be free size because it doesn't come with a label, it doesn't come with a size tag. And I'm not really, really used to the whole floral patterns. Like if you know me, I like to wear plain colours, but this went really well with the red and I just thought it was a very flattering piece. So definitely one of my favourites. Love it! Next dress is also a floral dress but now the prints are a lot smaller and this is in a kind of like the same sea foam colour. It's very dainty and it's almost a little bit like quirky, a bit like old school. And I love how the sleeves are long and they flare out right at the bottom. My only issue with this is that sometimes the strings may look a little weird if you tie it like a bit odd. So you have to like, you know, tie and retie a few times to make it look cute but I don't mind it, honestly. This part may get a little bit tight for anyone that has like really broad shoulders or like bigger arms here. That's something that you want to be careful about because when I first wore it, I felt like this was a little bit tight. If I did 
this, right, I would just like rip holes in my pits. So that's just something to take note of. But obviously I haven't done that yet. So we are good. And I really like the length of this. For short girls, it's very, very cute because it kind of just hangs like a little bit on the mid thigh and it's very flirty but not short as in obscene short. I got this in a size S and it pretty much fits perfectly. So if you are 156 or 51 and a half, this is what you should go for. It's like a perfect length for us. So, yay! This next dress is also one of my favourites. This is a slip dress that has like, you know, that millennial pink, peachy pink kind of colour and palm trees printed all over it. It's not super, super sharp, the images, so it kind of looks a little bit like blurred out and it's very subtle. And I really love the different shades of green of the leaf. Oh, very pretty. And I love how it goes against the pink. The V in the front is a little bit higher than the V in the back. So actually, if you want it a bit more low cut, you can reverse it and wear it. But I like to wear it when it's higher up in front and I just have a lower back. It doesn't have a tag as well, so I really don't know. Oh, I'm, I lied. This is in size XS and it fits me pretty much perfectly. I really, really love it because it's very comfortable. I feel very cute whenever I wear this. Like, I feel like I'm a little bit dressed up without it being uncomfortable at all. It's very well made. It's fully lined. And these straps here are legit like the perfect height. So I have no complaints. Like, this is like the perfect dress for me. Next dress, I have a little bit of an issue with because it is really well made, but it just doesn't fit. Honestly, I think this was just not made for my body type because I am shorter and I have curves. So if you're taller and you have no curves, this is perfect for you because this would fit you perfectly. It's a navy dress that kind of has this little hole by the side. So there are two straps here and you tie one with the other and you just kind of like clip it. So it's kind of like a like a gap dress, I don't know how to call it lah. It's very thick, it doesn't crease easily, and it's just very well made. Like you can tell that it's just really nice material, very smooth. My only problem with it is that the straps are too long, and I feel like I can't cinch it tight enough without it looking really weird bunchy. So I think you're supposed to kind of leave it loose and like, you know, like a straight cut shift dress. If you're tall, this would definitely be for you. It's a very pretty dress and yeah, I'm just like a little bit bummed out that I can't wear it. My final dress of the lot is actually really really pretty. It's not my style at all, like I wouldn't gravitate towards it. But I just, I had a feeling and I was like, why not? Let's just try something different for this summer. So this is a black polka dot dress that looks like this. I don't know if you can see but it's actually a little sheer and the back is pretty much completely sheer. They have polka dots kind of all over and there's this mesh overlay with like flower embroidery and just like there's a lot of detail and there's a lot of stuff going on but because it's black it just kind of tones everything down and makes it like really wearable and I really like it. I'm like looking at this and it really reminds me of Yayoi Kusama and it's just really funny because her exhibition's in NatGal so I really wanted to go there in this dress but I haven't had the opportunity to go yet and also just because there's a crowd and I cannot stand crowds especially when I'm looking at art. So I'm just like patiently waiting for everyone to just have seen it and not want to go there anymore and I, I will go there and I'll creep on all of the art. Next up we have a jumpsuit and this looks like that. It's very strange. It has two straps that are like this and you're like, oh my god, why don't they attach? Is it a halter? No. They have like these straps here that you tie it to the back. Wait, let me, let me go on first. And then they have this nude layer and then it just kind of goes down into like white leg pants. I have a few issues with this jumpsuit because I love jumpsuits and like the only other jumpsuit that I have like I love it so much that I don't even wear it out a lot because it's like red and it's just really really eye-catching so I really wanted to find a similar one that is more wearable and just more like daily everyday friendly but still like really chic because I think they're really nice and it's very rare for me being so short to find a jumpsuit that actually fits. So this actually fits, but that's not the issue. When I wear this in a clip, right, I'm not actually wearing a bra, like I cannot. When I wear it, it just sinks and then it just like looks really ugly because it like bunches up and then this tie doesn't really help because I can't really reach all the way to the back and when I do tie it, sometimes it's not tight enough and then it just bunches. But if I do pull it up too high, this part kind of like bunches up and makes me look like really bulky, like just really weird. So even though the length fits me and like the pant part of this ensemble actually looks really good, I think the proportions for here look a bit odd unless you are like really skinny like throughout. If you've got a butt like you lose, this gives you very very little space for your boobs like 
Can you see how small this is? And it's not stretchable at all. It's still wearable, but because I won't be able to wear a bra and it's just like quite annoying in general, I'm not as inclined to this. Next up, we have a two-piece and this is very, very interesting because this is a chevron print and I don't usually gravitate towards prints that are so loud. If you're going to Bali, if you're going to the beach, like why the hell not? This is super, super cute. I mean, some people wear this just going out too. I'm not as brave as you, but like, you could do that. These are the shorts and they are really nice because they have a concealed zip and this hits me on the waist like pretty much just nice. It's just a little bit loose so it doesn't make me look like a pork sausage. And it flares out really nicely as well. I do think it flares out a bit too much but it looks like a skirt so I guess it's okay. I've seen a lot of reviews saying that this is a little bit too like risque and it looks like it's too small but I think it's okay for me. If you're wearing a bikini in this or if you want to wear one of those like strapless bras, that's completely fine. I really like how thick this band is at the back so when you tie a bow it's really cute and this actually looks quite confusing but it's actually a crisscross. I won't wear this out to go shopping or just to go have a meal with my friends but I definitely save this for like a vacation. If I'm going out to the beach or if I'm just going out like on an adventure, I wear this. This is really cute. Okay so let's move on to tops. My first top is this and I actually really like it. It. It's a little bit oversized, but that's what- Oh my god, I keep forgetting to tell you all the sizes! I suck. Shall we call this part the size intermission? Because I clearly keep forgetting to tell you guys the sizes. It doesn't come with a tag, so I'm guessing this is a free size. This one is super cute. Have I mentioned how much I like it? It's so cute. D are there no tags with, with these? There's also no tag on this, so I'm guessing it's free size. If it's not free size, I'm just gonna write in the description bar like what size it is, okay? Jumpsuit is... Also free size? <laughs> there are no sizes on any of this. I feel like an idiot now having a size in the mission, but no sizes. This doesn't have a size, but I'm guessing this is a size S. Let's get into tops now, and the first one is this lace shirt and it's very very pretty. I really like how this lace is not too girlish so it's actually of leaves. This is in size S but I really like it on me. It's a little bit oversized but I don't mind it at all. I really like how it just captures the light and white lace is just really magical. I don't know I just like white lace and it's so easy breezy because this is like really holy. Not like holy but like holy. If you're feeling self-conscious you can always throw on like another bralette or just like a tube top underneath that's fine but I really like it. Next top is this and please don't laugh it's this. It's like really really cute and I really wanted to get into the whole like gingham thing but I know that a lot of girls like the black and white gingham. I like them too. It's just that I wanted something a bit different and I saw this and it looked really cute on the model and it looks like really puffy and that's because of the material. It's almost like a corrugated like kind of, it's very comfortable but I really don't understand the material. It's quite interesting. It's like little bumps. I really like the embroidery. I think it looks really colourful and really cute and really summer appropriate. I really look forward to wearing this with like denim shorts or anything like really cute and like tight so that I can tuck this in but I really like it. I think this is super cute. Next two tops are gonna be knits and these are pretty like skin tight. So first top is this. This is one that kind of has a lining that goes across and then really a little bit low cut. It's a little bit tiny and it's very tight and I have worn it before and I've gotten scolded and I've had to wear a jacket over it. I would recommend you getting a size bigger. Wait, what size do I get this in? Does this have no probably listed down below again but I just, I don't know. It's a little bit small. These come in a variety of different colours as well but I really like this mustard colour. I think it's very in for summer and it's very like pretty and just very eye-catching so I love it but not everyone else loves it apparently. Dang! This is the next top and it's just a off the shoulder really really tight kind of tube top with like two little sleeveys. I don't know, I really like it and I really like how this is a off white colour. It's very close to white. Once again, it's a little tight so anyone that's not comfortable with it, I wouldn't recommend it. But it just looks really really cute. I would definitely pair this with like a looser pair of long jeans, like one of those boyfriend jeans. I don't know, I really like them and they were really really affordable as well. The next knitted top actually reminds me a lot of Tommy Hilfiger. I wonder why. <laughs> 
the material of this knit is super nice. It's really, really soft and like I don't see any furrings or nothing. It's really beautiful. And I actually really like how this part is actually wide enough for me and it's like not looking a little bit like it's too small. I really appreciate that about this top. Thank you, top. These two are just ties for the halter so you can like wear them like this. And it's actually really nice. It's not too tight on me, which I really appreciate. And it's not loose on me to the point that it looks a little bit sloppy because sometimes knits tend to do that. This is such a pleasant surprise because I realise I can actually wear this for a lot of occasions. Like I can dress it up, I can dress it down, make it really casual. This is really comfortable because even though it's a halter, right, I can still wear my strapless bra and it doesn't show. Highly recommend this, this is super cute. Next top is something that looks kind of like the off-white, off-the-shoulder top that I was showing you. This is a black tube top with two little ties right at the ends so that you can tie on your sleeves. So it looks like an off-the-shoulder top but it's a little more like fun and interesting. I got this in a size S and it's a little bit small. I feel like it makes me look a little bit like a sausage lah, not gonna lie. These straps are a little bit tricky because if you tie them like too tight, they kind of make you look like a sausage and then if you tie them too loose, right, they just kind of flop around and look kind of like it's not meant to be there. So you can tie it two times and just let it kind of slip or you can tie a bow and like make it more BAM in your face. But I still really like it. I think it's casual and still interesting and fun and also very hot weather appropriate. So. Really appreciate that. The final haul that I have is this. I am a little like, oh, I'm not so sure how I feel about this. Love the colour, but I'm not so sure about the quality. I've been really getting into halters, I don't know if you can tell. It's a really nice option for summer and I really love this colour because I think it's like an off denim. It just kind of has a different feel from other halters because it starts like this so your neckline looks a bit different. Pretty interesting. But done with our knit, so this is the next top. It is a pinstriped cold shoulder top. I really like it. It's made very simply and it hangs really nicely. The material doesn't scream like well made but it's actually very easy breezy and I think it's sewn pretty well so this kind of fabric has the tendency to look really cheap but actually it doesn't and I think it fits me really well. I have no complaints about this sweetheart neckline here. I think it's very pretty and it's just a very nice detail. Not the most visually stunning piece but definitely super comfortable and very summer appropriate. How many times can I say that? Gosh. This is the next top. It's also off the shoulder. I don't know if you can tell but there seems to be a little bit of a trend here. I got a long sleeved off the shoulder with bell sleeves. So they look really really cute. I don't know what you call it but there's a little V here and then you can tie it. I've worn this out before and it was very very comfortable. Like honestly this feels amazing. I don't know how to describe it. Very breezy and I just really like it. The only thing I don't love as much is that the sleeves are a little bit too long so it's really inconvenient sometimes when I want to or like when I want to do stuff and it just like gets in the way. Other than that, I really like how stretchy this is because then it doesn't hurt but it can still stay put. I still wear it even though the sleeves are too long. Yeah. <laughs> the next top is a kimono top and it looks like this. It's a really pretty dusty blue colour and the embroidery is very dainty and just very beautiful and I really really like it. It also came in white but I chose blue because I thought it was like more striking and just more different and I honestly wouldn't mind getting both because this is really well made. Like it feels really nice. Okay my camera stopped recording because we've been doing this for way too long but let's move on. This is also a kimono top but I am really disappointed in it. The material feels good but it's not well cut at all. I really am not a fan of the sleeves. The bottom part of this outfit, it's just, it's not cute. I don't know why they would do that. It feels like they put like some kind of fishing line inside this and it's just, uh, it's just, uh, I'm just, uh, the sash also doesn't do anything because this is a elastic kind of waistband so you can't really control like how tight you want to pull it in. Really disappointed in this because it looks so good on the model and then I realised the model was actually moving. I couldn't tell that it was gonna look like this so I'm not gonna wear this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I just... I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe sell it. Next up is this and it's pretty strange, like pretty different. And everyone's gonna be like, what is that? It's kind of like a baby doll top. So this extends all the way to your bust. There are pleats here. I really like the whole pinstripe look. I think it's very on trend. And I also really like how these black ribbons really complement the outfit and kind of cinch it in. Pretty much no allowance for your boobs. So I wasn't wearing a bra. I couldn't wear a bra. And it was just like, I felt like it was pressing my boobs down. So I just looked like a 14 year old boy. I still really want to like it though because that's the only issue I have. I will figure something out. I still really want to wear this because everything else is really nice. The next one is also an off the shoulder but it is one of my least favourites. If you know anything about wearing off the shoulders, you know that anything that's not stretchable is very irritating. Especially when this is long sleeved and it covers like the outside of your body. I don't know if you can tell but you see this? 
there's like a little cinch here so this is actually really tight and it cuts in like I don't feel like you can get very mobile with this top and it looks a little uncomfortable as well also there are these two lines that are very very transparent like you can see my skin you'd have to wear something underneath like a bralette or whatever and because it doesn't have straps so you can't wear something that has straps either it's just like really quite annoying. This is not the best material. It feels really cheap. It doesn't look nice on the body so I'd say this is a bit of a fail. I honestly thought this was gonna be a little stretchy. Like you can tell it's not stretchy at all and it's just yeah not very flattering so I would recommend this. Next up, not everyone's cup of tea but I really like it. This is a shift long sleeve shirt. They have a ruching on the bottom and like almost like bell sleeves. They're really loose up here and a little bit sheer, a little bit translucent. You can still see your arms like the silhouette but you know you have that big poofy and I don't think it's too poofy so I really like it. The collar has an additional mesh that makes it really interesting to look at. In the photos it almost looks like some of the embroidery had sequins on it but it doesn't which is a bit of a pity because I honestly would have loved like something a little shiny and like a little embellishment you know what I mean but this is still really really nice and I love how this could be dressed up or down it's very versatile I'm aware that with this I may look like a sofa from the 1990s but I still love it it's very pretty final top something that's very me and I think you guys are probably used to it by now it looks really difficult to show you how it looks like when I'm holding it like this but once I wear it you'll get it it's just a crisscross wrap top so oh that's a mouthful and it's like a really nice kind of shimmering dark blue color the shimmer isn't actually glitter I know some clothes they like to sprinkle glitter on it and that's just I stay far far away from those but this is actually part of the fabric feels super comfy like I can rub it against my face it's so nice it's really interesting because I haven't seen someone wear wearing something like this. So I thought this was pretty unique and it was very affordable as well so I really like it. This is in a size S. Moving on to bottoms, I actually really like pretty much all of my bottoms here. First one is this. I have been looking for the perfect pair of white high-waisted denim shorts for a really long time. I don't think this is it but I think it cuts pretty close and I think it's quite interesting. This is a pair of mid-waist cuffed denim shorts with this humongous flower embroidery. It's a little bit big but I don't mind it because it's supposed to be mid-waist. I just pull it up a bit higher when I'm wearing like the other clothes because I don't want you guys to see my belly button. It's a bit weird. This is in a size S and I definitely can belt it up. You know, I can still wear it so it's fine. I think the cuff hits me at the right length. It's not too high or too low it's not very awkward and I think the embroidery is very interesting and very pretty so I really like this next up is a denim skirt and this is bound to be one of my favorites I really like how simple this is and I like how there's just like a stripe here it looks a little sporty almost a little bit like Tommy Hilfiger-ish like I think those two would match really well I really like how comfortable this is I feel like this fits me the best as well good length I like this little triangle pattern as well I think it's very cute and it's just like a nice mid wash very very true denim color, no complaints, love it. Next up are paperback shorts and they are really pretty, almost like a grey mauve color. Quite a heavy material, I'd say it's almost like a curtain. It's a satin kind of finish and it's really really pretty. It may look a little bulky but if you pair it with like the right top, get something a little tighter, it actually looks really nice because it just kind of like balances it out. I was wearing a white tube top with like two little sashes here that's very similar to the one in black, it's just the one in white and it's a different material. I was wearing that with this and I got compliments on it. Looks really dressy without trying too hard because this is super super comfortable. It also comes with pockets. I, I didn't know that until like halfway and I was wearing it and yeah I think this is free size probably because I really can stretch like quite a lot. I needed more dressy shorts so this is really nice. Moving on to longer pants I've got these. These are pants with side slits and these gold buttons all the way down and it has a concealed zipper at the back. The band is really sleek, there's not much of a design. I really like it when my pants are simple but unique enough to like hold their own. You can also choose to like button up slightly more so that the slit is a little less but I like it just the way it is and I think it fits me pretty well. I was initially a little concerned that it might be a little too tight 
on my hips but I think it's okay. This is really well made, it doesn't crease pretty much at all. This is definitely one of my favourites as well, it was a really good buy. These are a pair of white legged culottes and these are freaking beautiful. I don't know if you can see, it has really nice uniform, like very dainty pleats. I was initially really concerned that this part will make my waist look very big because it's just like very bulky in general but it's actually not. This elastic waistband here is really freaking tight, it's really good, I really like that about this. Most of the time when I'm wearing these culottes, I actually have a longer top. So like a kimono top that kind of goes over. It's pretty much creaseless. I folded it like a couple of times and you can't even see. And they also come with a detachable waistband as well. I've worn this like maybe twice. Both times I've removed this sash because I just didn't need the sash. But it's a really good alternative if you want to kind of tie in a bow or whatever. It's made out of really good quality as well. It's super well made and it's really really pretty. So I highly recommend this. That was such a long video again. Oh my god. We have finally reached the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys have some inspiration for what you want to get during summer. I'm pretty much aware that it's like we're in the middle of summer right now but still I hope you guys like my stuff. If you liked it don't forget to click the thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week and don't forget to hit that bell button next to my subscribe button to see when a new video gets out. Yeah I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!